hello guys hope you all are well so after a long time i have come to the channel so today i will show you that how you can set up ads on your xblock site you see many of you are approving your xblock site on adx but most of the time you can't able to set up the ads so the revenue is also get reduced so that's why today i am here for setting up the ads as good as possible so this is uh, one of my clients adx website and today we got the invitation from umdg media so now i will set up the ad at first you need to go to the adsense and you need to off the auto ads so this is the auto ads and you have to apply this to your website <coughs> so the auto ads is off so then we need to go to the network setting on ads manager so this option will be tick mark so we have to uncheck this option and make it safe so i have already done that and after that you have to go to the multiple customer management mcm and you can see i have already uh, approved the invitation so it's okay now now we have to go to the ad exchange option you will get some options like uh, review ad accept i have entered the site and it was approved now we have to enable ad exchange okay so it's done let's refresh it and see is it worked or not so you can see that the ad exchange is enabled okay so now we have to go to the linked account so here we can see uh, we have to enable the incoming ad un exchange units exchange links okay uh, we just enabled the display and mobile ad exchange links and we again refreshed it in ads manager it's little uh, it took time to refresh so ignore that okay so it's done now we have to go to the order section for ordering some ads unit let's see we have to go to the new order and we can put any name here addx add okay and we can select easily the advertiser is google okay so that's the thing and we can easily mm, add the line item so here the order is created we will select the display ad add x add so from here we can uh, line item type will select add actions okay and we can tick mark this option for all requested sizes and you can put some labels no need to do that and um, here we will use the ads for to display not for the app so we will use this option and the starting twelve time will be immediately and it will run unlimited so that's the thing mm -hmm. okay so now here um, 
we can do some more options like say hey, her you can just save the things that's it so now we have to need to go to the manage creative option uh let's just uh put it at automatically generated tips and this one is done okay and time unlimited it's active and uh, so if we go to the order section now let's see <clears throat> so we just need to approve the line item from the order section and the thing is ready okay that's the thing first of all and now we need to go to the inventory section to create some add units <coughs> So, so here uh, to add unit here is by default so we can uh, make some add unit and we can just uh, name the code name the description all the same uh, smart size fixed banner smart fixed size sizes let's just select some sizes okay here is the option when we will do loading we must keep in mind that most of the time we work with pc so we will have to select larger ads but if we load with some campaign or if we work with good traffic real traffic then most of the users are from mobile traffic most of the users are mobile traffic so then we have to select the small size ads so here we can see button and also skyscraper and some custom size and extra size and also leaderboard custom size large leaderboard custom that's the thing okay and also uh, let's do some um, okay so that's uh, the size of the thing mm -hmm. refresh it no refresh or refresh in 30 second i think it will be good uh, 60 second will be good so that uh, the app could be changed on its own with some time after some time so let's just save the thing and see so i don't know what's the problem but uh, the thing so now go we can go to the uh, tech section okay for tech we need google publisher tech okay uh, single request this one is for uh, if we only want to enable this add code only one time no we can use this add in the various section and in multiple times so we just uncheck this thing and we can just uh, live traffic yeah enabled for live traffic that's it and we can just continue and here we will get some code so now it's time to go to the xblock site
so if we go to the explore site so we can see here oh shit i think let's just uh, always translate english on password and thing is incorrect so um, let's just it is still incorrect oh let's just do thing from here um, explode.jp just open okay here the thing is uh, oh so let's just take the password from uh, here okay let's just copy the password and let us paste the thing here and see oh the work is done so we are inside the block okay so now what we have to do is go to the list of the articles and we have to put the codes in the article okay so we just have to go to the edit section and here we just make it uh, as HTML tag and that's the thing we can just copy the tag here we can space the tag document header and the document body to the upside so here we'll face a problem like the script are not acceptable here so we need to purchase the code course and that's very annoying for xblog users okay we always need to purchase the course so let's see is this the link oh no Hmm. Where is the buy course section? Okay, this is the buy course section. Okay, so you can see here we can uh, buy the packages, and here there are some option like. Uh, hide header this one is hidden so in the this option we will get this okay so let's just apply for this fixed monthly fee okay So let's see. Um, let's give my credit card number. So after some few moment, I'm back. So we just log into our Xbox site, and we also log into our Ads Manager. Okay. So let's go to the list of articles and if I check our course we can see we are using super premium course okay and let's just go to the list of articles and click on edit and then click on HTML and 
and from the inventory section to the add placement add unit we can just take the add code like this one is the addx and we go to the code we just copy the code here and we'll paste it in the here and also the body tag here so let's just update this okay so this is updated okay and also let's just uh, add this to another article like here and also uh, copy the code from and paste it here okay so keep it let's just keep it okay done so that's it and now if we go to the xblock site let's see is the ads live or not so we just pasted it here and we can see And the our ads are coming and if we open the website in incognito mode let's see is that comes or not let's just take the time to load the site Oh shit, the second one gone wrong. Okay, the second one gone wrong. You can see here we failed to do that. Okay, the ads are, you can see the ads are coming. Okay, the ads are coming and the second one gone wrong. We just need to fix the thing from here okay we just go and take the thing here okay now let's keep it okay now done now if we uh, refresh the site we will not see the code again yeah we can't see the code again and if we refresh the site let's see ads are coming yeah the ads are live 